channel today. Today's video is actually by request and we are in the bathroom instead of in the kitchen which means we're going to be talking beauty. Um, the viewer who contacted me had watched one of my videos about essential oils and in that video I had mentioned um, that I purchased tea tree oil for my daughter who is having trouble with acne breakouts and um, apparently she also has a daughter who um, has trouble with acne. So she asked me if I would talk about uh, what I was referring to in the video and how I was going to use the tea tree oil. So today we're going to be uh, talking about how to make a DIY face wash using essential oils. Now her particular issue was about acne, but DIY um, face wash, um, actually it's a foaming face wash, is wonderful for anyone to do and actually I, I use one myself and that's the one I'm going um, to show you today that I have made up um, and then I'll show you or talk about what oils um, you can use depending on what your particular uh, skincare issue is. So um, anyway, what you'll need is a foaming soap dispenser, uh, similar to this one. I purchased this one from Amazon. Um, it is glass. Um, most people recommend if you're going to put oils in something, um, you want to use glass or stainless steel um, because it can cause problems with plastics. However, if you are diluting oils with um, a carrier oil, which we are going to be doing, it's totally fine to use plastic. Um, I bought the frosted glass um, because I thought it was pretty, it went well with my bathroom, um, but you can certainly use plastic in this application. Just know that whenever you're using essential oils, you really shouldn't put them in pl plastic. So if you're going to put them in your water, don't ever put them in a plastic water bottle because then they can leach the chemicals cause the plastic to break down and the chemicals in the plastic can get in whatever is in um, the bottle and certainly if you're drinking water you don't want the chemicals from your um, plastic bottle to leach into the water that you're drinking so that's a little bit on that even though we're not talking about water today we are talking about something else but anyway I, I like the glass because it was pretty but it's not necessary in this application so what you're going to start with is you're going to start with pure Castile soap and I'm sure most of you are familiar with this. Now I do use the um, Dr. Bronner's Baby Unscented um, Castile Soap. There are a variety of ones to choose from. I chose this one because I felt like it was the most gentle. I tend to have sensitive skin issues, so that is why I purchased this one. You can purchase just the regular one if you prefer, but I think that this one is the best for face washes because it is going to be the most gentle on your skin. So we need the foaming pump and you need Castile soap. And then the next thing you're gonna need is a carrier oil. Now I've chosen jojoba oil you can see that okay. Um, it is a pure, natural, certified organic oil and you, those things are important. You want to make sure whatever oils you're purchasing, just like your essential oils, you want to make sure your carrier oils are also pure and they're not diluted with anything and that they are certified organic. So you don't get anything in there you're not expecting <laughs> to be in there. So. Um, Anyway, I did purchase this on Amazon. Um, I believe it was it was less than fifteen dollars. Um, uh, and the reason why I chose jojoba oil is because it's good for just about any type of skin. There are many other carrier oils to choose from, um, and you can research search those at some point if if you don't want to use jojoba oil. Um, if you have more mature skin, you might want something that's a little more emollient, but jojoba oil is a really good oil for just about any type of skin, and it's actually closest to our natural oils that are in our skin. So it's just a good all-purpose carrier oil to have on hand, um, and that's what we're going to use in this. So, um, And then the next thing you'll need, 
I guess you don't need it need it it is nice to have a little funnel it just makes it easier for getting your um, oil and your soap into your dispenser so it's not necessary it just makes it nice um, I, I purchased these at my local grocery store they came in graduated sizes and they weren't very expensive so um, that's nice to have and then of course you're going to need your essential oils now she specifically asked me about acne um, and tea tree oil was what we were discussing so you definitely if you're wanting to treat acne the tea tree oil is perfect um, lavender is a wonderful oil for skin obviously I'm sure You've seen all kinds of skincare products with lavender in them. It's really popular for skincare, uh, for more mature skin. Frankincense is wonderful. And there are a lot of oils to choose from. Um, and you're going to need, the size of my dispenser is, um, I believe it's 16 ounces. But there are smaller ones. So, um... For a 16 ounce dispenser, you want up to 30 drops. So in the soap, the foaming soap that I've already made, um, I used 30 drops of lavender because I was making it for me. Um, so, but for acne, um, what I would recommend is that you use like 20 drops of tea tree and then 10 drops of lavender because lavender is also very good for troubled skin, acne, inflamed skin. Um, lavender is just like a jack of all trades oil. It's wonderful for a million things. Um, so anyway, the recipe for this fa foaming face wash is for the 16 ounce bottle that I've purchased, you're going to want a half a cup of your Castile soap. So you measure out a half a cup of your Castile soap, put that in your dispenser first, then you're going to need two tablespoons of carrier oil, and in this case we're using jojoba, and then you're going to want to put in your oils, and like I said for the 16 ounce um, soap dispenser you want to use up to 30. Um, so it's kind of up to you if you're worried about sensitivity with the oils you could cut back and use less but you can use up to um, 30 drops of whatever oil you choose for um, whatever problem you're trying to treat and then you're gonna fill it up the rest of the way with distilled water now you don't have to use distilled water but I did just because I, I wanted it to be as pure as possible um, so I recommend using distilled water. Um, and then anyway, that's all you have to do is put it in your bottle, put the lid on, and then give it a shake and it's all shook up. And then I did want to mention that as it sits, it will separate. And I wish I would have showed you that before I, I shook it. Your oils will settle at the top and that's perfectly normal. So just give it a good shake before you uh, pump out your soap, but I want to show you how, oops, how nice it foams up and comes out. And it's perfect. So simple, um, not expensive at all. Um, actually, it's when you, because you get such a big bottle um, the, of the soap and your carrier oil, and you're using so few uh, drops of your um, essential oils, it's really inexpensive to make. And I have found that I, my skin loves it. And my daughter loves it as well for uh, her skin. So um, anyway, that's just a pretty basic recipe. If you have a 12 ounce foaming soap dispenser, I would recommend using a third of a cup of the Castile soap and maybe a tablespoon and a half of your carrier oil and then cut back on your oils to about up to 20 drops. If you have an eight ounce dispenser, I'd recommend just cutting the recipe in half. So again, for the 16 ounce um, recipe, you're gonna want a half a cup of Castile soap, two tablespoons of carrier oil, and up to 30 drops of your essential oils. 
for a 12 ounce foaming soap dispenser, you're going to want a third of a cup of Castile soap, um, about a tablespoon and a half of carrier oil, and up to 20 drops of um, essential oils. And then if you have an 8 ounce dispenser, I would do a half a cup of Castile soap, one tablespoon of carrier oil, and up to 15 drops of your essential oils. Now, with that being said, when I was researching how to do this, I came across recipes that were all over the place as far as amounts of Castile soap and versus essential oils and your carrier oil. Um, but I can tell you that I've tested this and it works really, really well. So um, anyway, I hope you'll give it a try. Um, research your oils for whatever type of skin you have. Um, like I said, there are a lot of carrier oils to choose from, um, but jojoba is really a great versatile oil for just about any type of skin. And there are a lot of options for essential oils. There are expensive ones like neroli and rose oil. Rose is super expensive, but it would be very almost decadent um, on the face. Um, geranium. Um, is a good one. There are a lot to choose from. So, um, but just your standard ones, lavender is always a great choice. Um, has a nice scent. It's very gentle on the skin um, and our skin loves it. The tea tree oil is great for troubled skin and acne like I said. And frankincense is another oil that is kind of pricey but worth every penny. Um, aging if you're trying to do some anti-aging, frankincense is great for that. So anyway, I hope you liked this video and it was insightful and helpful to you. I hope you'll give foaming face wash a try. And um, if you have any questions, please feel free to leave them in the comment section. I'll be happy to um, answer whatever questions you may have. If you are not an essential oil user and you are interested in becoming one, you should be interested in becoming one. Essential oils are just wonderful for our overall health, our spiritual health, our emotional health, our physical well-being. They're just great. So if you're not an oil user and you want to become one or you want more information, please get in touch with me and I'll share what I know and share how you can get started on your journey as well. And um, anyway, thanks for spending part of your day with me and as always, thanks for watching. Have a great day.